Hello again and uh, welcome to Retro PC Refurbs. Uh, today I have a computer here, um, bought off eBay, so I'm just going to open it up just to make sure everything's okay and see which one it is, because I've bought two. Right, so we've got it out of the, out of the packaging. So one of these is a mystery, and the other one I know what it is. So this looks like the mystery one. I will put the eBay uh, listing on the screen, so you can see. It's uh, filled as a Pentium. I think it says no hard drive. So it could be any form of Pentium. But the sticker on the front does look like it could be a second gen. Okay, so here we are. So it was a Windows 7 and the Pentium sticker there looks as though it's at least a second gen, probably a G something, G620 or something like that. So uh, we will plug this in and uh, see whether it fires up, whether it works and what it's actually got in it. Right, so we are have this unpacked. So it's an Acer machine, uh, Acer Veriton. So it is a Windows 7 machine, so hopefully it's fairly modern. The only thing uh, on the back, there is no HDMI, it's only VGA, which is worrying. Um, and there's no USB 3, <clears throat> so they're all USB 2. Looks as though it has had a graphics card in, but that has been taken out. Um, so we'll fire it up and uh, we'll see whether it starts, see whether it works. And apparently not. So, I will open this up. Right, okay, so I turned it over, took the top off, and uh, pressed the button again, and I got a post beep. Um, but there was nothing coming out of uh, the VGA, so the motherboard or the CPU might not have on board, uh, or something's not going right. Um, so I've just put a graphics card in, and I'll turn it back on now. And again, we have nothing. I, I did take the, there we go. So it's fired up again. I've took, took the um, keyboard and mouse out and it's fired up. So it's, uh, uh, it's got a du Pentium dual core in there. So it's a uh, socket 775. Okay, it's absolutely filthy as you can see. Really, really caked full of dirt. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to plug the keyboard and mouse in and see whether the computer goes off. And again, that seems okay. And it appears to work again. Okay, so it appears to be working now with uh, the keyboard and mouse. So whether these have not been used for a while and they're so dirty that it is taking, uh, by pulling it in and out, it's, um, making things work. OK, 
okay so i'll give this a, a good old clean get that fan working or replace the fan um not sure how much memory it's got in ddr2 so three gigs i'll see which see what sort of cpu i can put in here probably quad core llg uh, lga775 So the fan was stuck, I've just released it. Oh, stuck again. Yeah, it sticks there. But if you look, it's absolutely caked, full of dirt. Especially here. So this stuff uh, seems sticky. Um, although it's dust, or well, most of it is dust and, and grime, um, it feels and seems sticky, so I have no idea what it actually is. Okay, there we have it, all cleaned up nicely, nice and shiny, or good enough at least anyway. So um, I'll now uh, clean up the motherboard uh, and the outside, sorry. I'll clean up the outside first and then go onto the motherboard and see if I can do anything with that fan. So we have the Q9450 and hopefully this is compatible with this board. Um, Googling, uh, Googling online, um, it says it takes a 9400. Um, so the only difference is the 12 megabytes of cache, uh, whereas the other, uh, the 9400 has uh, six megabytes. So we uh, have a hard drive in, uh, everything's connected up now, the fan's clean, uh, still need to get that little bit of dust around that cowling there. Um, everything's looking quite uh, clean and shiny. Windows is loading and then when I have found an appropriate graphics card, probably going to be the 650 GTX 650. So we're really only looking at uh, eSport games and I'll see what actually will play on the Q9450. Um, obviously it's not got SSE uh, 4.2 so some games will not run anyway. But we'll see what we can get going. <laughs> 